the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, my God. He says, For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. Luke chapter 2, verse 10. Dear child of God, he says, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Be in expectation because those good tidings, yes, your soul has been longing for something. Something, yes, you have been craving for night and day. You have had expectations. You have been asking the Lord, please show up. You have been saying to God every day, I want to see it happen. You have waited. You have trusted in the Lord. Yes, you have stood your ground. Dear child of God, you have done everything that is necessary to be done. But it seems as if nothing happened. Today, the Lord wants you to know that there is a good tidings. Yes, the good news that you need will be coming your way. The angel came before them, stood before them, and said to them, Do not be afraid. He says, I bring you the tidings of great joy. He says, of great joy. Of great joy. Dear child of God, something will happen to you. Something that God will do will happen speedily. And it will cause you to have great joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Such a blessing that you cannot shut your mouth. Dear child of God, such a blessing that will be sounded from the rooftop. This is what God will do for you. Be in expectation. It would happen. God will send the angels to you. The angels that would assure you of his goodness. Dear child of God, the angels that would assure you that God is about to do it. You will see a sign, dear child of God. You will see a sign, it shall be visible. And you will know that God is at work. In the mighty name of Jesus. The angel told them, fear not. The angel told them, do not be afraid. For it will happen, it will be to all people. Dear child of God, everyone that matters to you. Everyone that are a concern to you. The same blessings that you are going to receive. It will locate them where they are. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, that time has come. Your appointed time has come. This is that time that you will be favored has come. Dear child of God, you will see the favor of God. The things that you are not deserving of, yes, you know that you have not earned it. God will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. You know that you did not work for it. Dear child of God, the things that you did not labor for, God will bring it to you because it's causing you to experience his good favor. And this will cause you to have great joy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, you will testify. You will testify of the wonders of God. Dear child of God, you will testify. You will testify of the blessings of God. Dear child of God, you will testify of your healings in the mighty name of Jesus. Have you been down because of some situations? Good news, dear child of God. God will heal you in the mighty name of Jesus. Have you been praying to God and saying to God, please change my story? Maybe you have been in a fix. You have been in a position for a long time. The God of heaven will come and he will move you high, dear child of God. He would elevate you. He would promote you, dear child of God. You have been stagnated. You know that you have tired in a place for a long time. And you're supposed to have moved on. You're supposed to have been in a better place right now. But somehow... The works of the enemies caught up with you. Somehow the devil, the enemies, did all the things that he would do to see that you are down, to see that you are depressed, to see that you don't get the things that you want. I want to assure you by the word of God, he's saying to you, there will be the great tidings that will bring great joy. Yes, wonderful things, amazing things. Dear child of God, it will be beyond your imaginations. You see, God has said he will do something. That is beyond our imagination. Beyond anything we can think of or ask. Dear child of God, the things that would happen were the things that you did not ask. You would not know. Dear child of God, you will say, I didn't know when I prayed this prayer. Yes, this was not part of my expectations. Because God will do beyond your expectations. He's going to do something. This is a good news coming your way. What is it, dear child of God, that may have kept you stagnated? God we deal with it today. God will take it off your path. God will destroy everything that needs to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. He said he will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Dear child of God, believe God. He says, I will rebuke the devourer 
for your sake. The enemies that may have devoured you up until this point that may have stolen from you. That enemy has been caught. Good news, dear child of God. That enemy has been caught. And what the scripture says is that he would return in Proverbs. He will return sevenfold. He says he would return in sevenfold everything that he had stolen. Be in expectation, dear child of God, for there will be a restoration of everything that may have been stolen from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that was taken from you, everything that was denied you, they shall be restored back unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. And your joy shall be filled in Jesus' mighty name. You would have reasons to dance. Dear child of God, you would have reasons to celebrate. You would sing songs of praises because the enemies had been caught and everything that was stolen from you had been completely restored. Dear child of God, the days, the years, everything that the palmer worms, the canker worms, everything that your enemies, everything that the wicked worms are taken from you. What had been taken from you, dear child of God, the Lord God is working on it and everything shall be restored. Oh dear child of God, everything, every single thing shall be restored and you would have reasons to rejoice. You would have reasons to dance. You would have reasons to celebrate. You would have reasons to say the Lord God of heaven has done me well. The word of God in Isaiah 12 verse 5 says, Sing unto the Lord, for he had done excellent things. This is known in all the earth, my God. Dear child of God, you would have reasons to celebrate. You would have reasons to rejoice. You would have reasons to dance because the Lord had done wonderful things. Because the Lord had done marvelous things. The Lord had done excellent things in the mighty name of Jesus. Beyond your imagination, God will do in Jesus' mighty name. You see, he said, how wonderful is the Lord. He has done unsearchable things. He has done marvelous things. Dear child of God, God will do you well in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you will not need to ask twice before you would receive everything that you deserve in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not need to toil anymore. You will not need to struggle. You will not need to beg to get the things that you deserve in the mighty name of Jesus. Praises will be on your lips, dear child of God. God will cause you to dance. God will cause you to dance. Dear child of God, you will dance for you are an overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus. God is said to do amazing things in your life. God is said to bring that breakthrough. God is said to make it happen. Please have faith. Have faith in God. Tell him every day, I believe. I believe. I'm expecting my testimonies. Yes, I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you to make it happen. And I know that you will not fail me. I know you will not disappoint me. I know you will not put me to shame. And dear child of God, I want to assure you by the help of the Holy Ghost, everything you need, yes, God has says he will show up when the time is right. When the time appointed has come, he will show up for you and your joy shall be full in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Great things will the Lord do. The Lord God of heaven is in the midst of thee is in your midst, is in your family, is in your household to do great things that will cause you to bask in joy, that will cause you to sing praises unto the Lord. So please, dear child of God, when he does it, testify. When he does it, give him praises, dear child of God. When he does it, lift up praises to him and say, thank you for doing it. Thank you for keeping to your word. Say to God, thank you for coming through for me. And I want to assure you, it may look like little, it may look like small at that time, but many more will come because you have the attitude of praises and adoration. Because you have the attitude of appreciation. Dear child of God, when you thank God for little, more will come. So be in expectation for the good news will come and greater things will locate you, your family, your loved ones, and everything that matters to you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.